Hi, my name is Supriya Das Francis and I have been teaching you maths in a most easiest way since a uh, few classes. So here today we are continuing with series of 9 and we are going to learn uh, how to multiply any number, be it big, small, 5 digit, 6 digit, 7 digit number with 4 nines, that is 9900 and 99. So come along and if you want to learn this method because this is going to be useful for 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th grade students and the method will help you with the algebra concept as well. So please uh, pull your notebook, take your pen and come along with me. Let's do it together. So what we are doing is we are doing first sum with 5, 9, 6, 3, 8, multiplied by 9, 9, 9 and 9. This is clear? Now, we are going to write the first number as it is. No changes. 5, 9, 6, 3, 8. And what we are going to do? We will convert it into 10,000 minus 1. How we are going to convert? That also you have to see. Write 1 as it is and 4 9's we have. That means 4 0 we are going to put. I hope this concept is clear to you. This is 10,000. 10,000 minus 1. If you forget how to put, how many num uh, zeros to put, then you just count number of 9 and put those many zeros here. That concept is clear? Now, the first step is this circle number. I multiply it with this. When I multiply this, what will I do? 59638 five, nine, times 1 is 59638. 59638. Five, nine, that is easy. And I'll count all these zeros and put the zeros here. Done? There is no complications of multiplication. Nothing we are going to do. This number as it is will multiply with 1. Write it. Behind that I am going to add all the zeros. What is here? We have 4 zeros. So I have put 4 zeros. Now once again we need to subtract. What we need to subtract? The entire number we are going to multiply it with 1. And if you do that you will get 5, 9, Okay, let me write it from, always write the number from the last so that you know you are not confused. So below this 0, I will write 8. Below second 0, I will write 3. Below third 0, I will write 6. Below fourth 0, I will write 9. And then I write 5. This is clear. I hope you must have written this in your notebook. And as we know, the easiest way of subtraction, please follow this and see. 8 becomes 7. First zero becomes nine, second zero becomes nine, third zero becomes nine, and last zero is always ten. All right. Now subtraction is very easy. Ten minus eight is two. Nine minus three is six. Nine minus six is three. Nine minus nine is zero. Seven minus five is two. And here I have three, six, nine. This looks very big multiplication, but isn't it easy? You have done it in three steps. With the practice, you can do it in one step. But for that, you need to practice. I'm going to explain one more sum. So please be with me. Don't run away. All right. So we are going to see another sum. How to multiply any digit number. Okay. Even if it's six digit number, we don't need to get worried at all. So here we are doing, this is 6, 2, 4, 3, 5, 9. And I am multiplying it with 4, 9, that is 9,999. Now this could be any number of 9. What you have to do if the number of 9 is increasing, same number of zeros also will increase. As the number increases, you just multiply it and subtract it. It's very simple. So my first step, as you already know, my first step is not to disturb the first number at all. Write it as it is. Copy it down. 6, 2, 4, 3, 5, 9. Clear? 
I did not make any changes in the first number. What did I do with this number? As you, if you are uh, learning with me, you know exactly we convert it into zero form. So I'll write one and how many nines we have? One, two, three, four. I'm going to put four zeros here. And I'll write minus one. That means this is 10,000. 10,000 minus one gives me 9,999. Clear? Now, third step is this entire number. We are going to multiply with this 10,000. Now, how to write it? Don't start multiplying. Okay, it's very simple. This entire number times one is same number. Six, two, four, three, Five, nine. All right. What to do with these zeros? Simply put the zeros here behind the number. Clear? You have multiplied the entire number with 10,000. Now, what is the next step? We will multiply it with one. As we have already seen, we have multiplied this number with one. We got the same number. Same thing. Six, two, four, three, five, nine multiplied time, uh, multiplied by one. We get same six, three, uh, six, two, four, three, five, nine. So let's start writing from behind so that we make sure our answers are correct. First number is nine. I write nine. Then I have five. I write five. Then I have three. I write three. Then I have four. I write four. Then I have two. I write two. And then I write six. Clear? If you are coming along with me, you will definitely be able to write it. Please write neatly. Write the numbers just below the zeros. Don't write here and there. Otherwise, subtraction will go wrong and your answer will be wrong. Now, same method of, easy method of subtraction. I make it 8. All zeros will go 9, 9, 9, 9 and last zero. We know the rule. Last zero always gets converted to 10. So 10 minus 9. 10 minus 9 gives me 1. 9 minus 5 gives me 4, 9 minus 3 gives me 6, 9 minus 4 gives me 5, 8 minus 2 gives me 6. Here, the challenge is here now. 5 is less than 6. We cannot subtract. So what we do? We do 35 minus 6. What is 35 minus 6? It's 29. What you are going to write? 29. Clear? Now, 4 and 2. This is your answer. Clear? Yes. It's time for uh, some practice sums. So let me give you some practice sums. You can practice it and let me know your answers in our comment box. So here are few sums just for you to practice. Take your time. Don't be in hurry when you're solving sums, when you're sitting for the practice. Okay. So I'm writing six digit number. So I write six, three, 2, 1, 9, 4, multiplied by 9, 9, 9, 9. Then I have 1, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2. This is 7 digit number multiplied by 9, 9, 9, 9. And next one I'm going to give you 8 digit number. This is 3, 6, 8, 5, 7, 9, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 7, 8 multiplied by, I'm increasing the number of 9. This is a challenge for you because I did not teach you how to multiply with 5 nines, but with the concept, if your um, learning concept is clear how to multiply with series of 9, you will easily be able to do it. I want you to try it out. It's a small little challenge. So please let me know your uh, uh, learning experience in the comment box and we'll meet again. Till then, take care. Happy learning children.